You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT, Rashid's video too. It's the Rashid and Jan show. Following that is Rashid Cyber 2. Having a keen eye for Rashid Entertainment isn't hard to do, especially when you're here on RVT with Rashid all the time. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station.
This RVT Rashid's video tube broadcasting is brought to you partly by the Rashid and Jan Show and by delicious refreshing strawberry milk. Drink an explosion of strawberry flavor in every drop. So like Rashid and Jan say, drink up. Also by Westward. Now streaming on Rashid's CyberTube. It's only the beginning. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. From Social Media Broadcasting System, this is RVT, Rashid's Video Tube. Put it on this, spread it on that, a little on this, and a whole lot of that. Everything's better with butter. Whip it on this, a little on that. Smear it on this, and square it on that. Everything's better with butter. Now you can square it up with butter or margarine. Electrify your taste buds with the rich and satisfying taste of butter. Whip it on this, graze it on that. Square it on rice, now that's... Where is that? Everything's better with butter. Now get to the grocers and square it up. Also in spray style to go easy on bread. Boy, I waited forever to get here. Yeah, we flew a long way, we should be glad. And you know something? I'm hungry. Very. But what are we gonna... Uh, um... I don't think I want that. Well, 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 why not? The rabbit seems to like it. Yeah, but... I want something that's more of our liking. Well, what about crackers? What? Crackers? Saltines? Hey, now you're talking. You bet! With less fat and calories than cookies and cake, you can't lose! Which is good, because I do go for the sweets cookies. But with these, it's, it's rather unique. You're right! Crunch it much and don't worry too much about the waistline. Or in our case, the feather line. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so guys, if you like to crunch and eat without the beak, Head out to your nearest grocer or go online at www.saltines.com. That's www.saltines.com. Silly rabbit, crackers are for birds. Yeah. <laughs> Now that the wait is over and finally we get to experience the Canon R series with all its dynamic features, why stop there? Let's go further to length. Because everyone knows around here RVT loves tech. I mean, just look around. No, over here. Get this. Get this mini wristband voice activated recorder Originally $139.99 for just $99.99. Now in Spy Gear Superstore. Or this Dell Olympus WS853. Now just $79.99. Or maybe this 12 hour thin voice activated recorder pin. Spy Guy free shipping for just $119.99. 
or this Dell Auto Technica microphone, just $99. And also, a sweet water roll, that's roll, NT, condenser microphone for just $169. Well, what's wrong? I want to go online, but I can't get my microphone to work on my stupid computer. Then get an adapter. An adapter? Yeah, a, a USB port. USB? Yup, just take a look. This USB audio adapter, 3.5 millimeter headphone and microphone jack, just $7.85 with free shipping. Or step this way to a Sovereign USB external stereo PC and Mac sound adapter, just $7.49. Check Newegg.com. So if you love tech as much as we do around RVT, then I suggest you podcast, stream, or whatever with the latest tech. So get started. I'm a child of the 60s and 70s, so I had to do a show about my childhood friends. Me! Wait, Rock. I'm not that guy right there, because uh, Rushy's that guy right there. <laughs> that guy right there can't read in the movie. In the movie, he couldn't read. Yo, Rushy, I can read. Okay, Rock. So, guys, come visit your friend. Not this one, but this one. Your buddy, the Red Dots. Or these guys. I'm going to be there. So be sure to check out Rashid's 70s and more. And that right there belongs to me. Give me the belt, Rashid. Here. Only here on RBT. RBT, Rashid's video tube, was proud to announce its affiliation with Disney. Go ahead and wish upon that star and make it true, because Disney's there waiting for you. You're watching RVT, a Rashi International Broadcasting Station. From Social Media Broadcasting System, this is RVT, Rashid's Video Tube. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. Controversial. Defiant. Supernatural.
or subliminal are just a few discussional qualifications that's found on Rashid's RVT documentaries, sharply enlightening your environment around you. A fascinating look at the world around us. Hi, I'm Rashid. Whether newsworthy or not, join us as we tackle some of the most questionable topics of our time on Rashid's documentaries. Now streaming on RVT. Yeah, I could cover that. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Are you ashamed to be on public assistance? Many are. And if you're one of them, take note. There's no reason to be ashamed. Public assistance is there for us. So the next time you may feel ashamed, remember, there's no pride in substantial living. Because we all count. I'm Rashid, and it's an honor to bring this to you. Isabella, Rashid's startling adventurous computer novel created and written by Rashid, a Rashid Greek mythology story narrated by Rashid himself, now streaming on RVT Rashid's video tube. Come follow along today. You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Read, read, read! Whether online or book in hand, explore. Reading allows us to drift off to other planes and journey to unfamiliar territory, stretching and expanding our imagination to endless boundaries. So whether online or book in hand, read. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon, serving nations worldwide.
And now, enjoy the show. And a hearty, healthy hello to everyone. Welcome to RVT. This is RVT Rashid's video suit in conjunction with um, JC Rashid's Music Jukebox Center. And I am Rashid the Orman Man coming on live on social media and other social media platforms. On social media and social media platforms. <laughs> Hello, baby. I did the best I can. How you doing? You ready to do this? All right. <clears throat> Welcome everybody. Sit back, relax, because we're going to have a very interesting discussion. Glad you guys are here. You guys could be anywhere, you know that? You really look at it, you guys could be anywhere. But you're here. But you're here. And that makes me happy and appreciative. Fall weather's kicking in a little bit. Hope you guys are keeping warm. Got the comfy uh, blankets out from storage. Got your coat out from storage. Your jacket out from storage. Do a little switcheroo in your closets. Yeah. Things change. I'm, well, the thing is, I'm sure we're going to get a, a, a few more good days than we are. I mean, we're not going to just get dropped, like, you know. So, I'm sure we're going to get a few more nice days in before that other crap just comes rushing in here. Welcome to another episode of Table Talk. Yes, it's been a while. It's been a while before we tackled table talk. It's been a it's been a good while. Yeah, we had the showcase. I think that's all we had. We I we worked on that showcase, sweetie, all all summer. All summer we worked on that showcase. It was bringing us to some topics that we're gonna be discussing about the showcase and supplies other Rashid content you might be interested in or, or came across when you've been watching some of my video or well, my blogs. Let me get things in order here. Got my notes here and everything. You came across these things while you was watching my my uh, content, and you might have you know questions about them and all. So we're gonna try to answer and defeat. A lot of curiosity here. Let's defeat some curiosity here. So how you guys doing? Usually I cover mail on here. I mean, um, news on here. But um, I don't know. By the time it's air, maybe we'll see something worth, worth talking about. But by then, it'll be too late. You know? Maybe it'll be too late by then. But we're going to do our best, the best I can. The best we can. I got some interesting... Uh, I got an interesting thing coming up also. Probably next weekend. I'm going to try to do it on Saturday and Sundays. It's interesting, man. Just trust me. It's interesting. It's not It's not what you, what you usually expect. When it comes to uh, looking at normal vlogs on YouTube or social media. It's something I created. Which I want to bring out also, everything that you see right now is things that I created. Uh, not only did I did, did, did I do the artwork for it, did the artwork for it, but I created it out of my imagination. So I just want to clarify that right now because we live in, in a time period where people will really speculate and, and insinuate and try to diminish things now so quickly and listening to rumors instead of out of the horse's mouth out of the 
the main source of content. So the main source of cre the creator, where it came from, where it dispatched from. So I just want to clarify that, that everything you see is out of my imagination. No question about it. Um, as I was saying, we had a really, I had a really, really busy summer. I mean, I had a really huge, tremendously busy summer working on a showcase. I wanted to keep us busy. Remember I said that? If you think back, you remember I said that. I want to, I want to keep busy this summer. I want to keep us, I want to take us somewhere to allow... To allow us to escape the everyday norm of what we watch. And we, yeah, that's how I'm saying. We accomplished that richly. I accomplished that richly for us. We had a nice time. If you tuned in to the Rashid Showcase, if you didn't see it, it's on my webpage. Okay, it's on my webpage. You'll see day one and day two of the showcase. We did it for two days. And, um... It was very time consuming, but at the same time, yeah, we took our time with it. Yeah, but we didn't rush that. I don't think we rushed too many. Like, like this episode of Dragonfly that's coming up. We took our time with that, and it's not that long. And I wanted it to be long. Surprisingly, I stretched it out, and it's still short. It's very, very short. It's very short, but very enjoyable. When you see it, it's very enjoyable. So, I'm very um, happy that we had the opportunity to for me for me to accomplish what I've accomplished with Dragonfly. And even now, as I speak, how we are seeing the saga grow in general. You know. Um, Seeing it branch out and expand in all these episodes. How I started with Dragonfly, it was kind of like a joke. I wanted something for us to watch. And so, okay, let's make a part two. So we made a part two. Then it's a part three. There's an episode four. Then an episode five. And it just kept expanding. Say, okay, we could do something with this. It's very simple to make because it's done out of sketching. No, co no real color involved in it. And that means a lot of uh, creativity um, free-falling without any really work being done. When you have color in your material, it takes time. You know, and because there's not a lot of movement in it, I won't really, yeah, that's the thing. We won't classify it as still animation. Yeah, we have done still animation, sweetheart. We have. Um, the movement of the animated characters will take time, like like our rabbit, which we'll be discussing later on. That really takes time to do a lot of movement in your animation. Still animation is the quickest, easiest formatation of animation anybody can do. And maybe we'll get into some claymation later on. Yeah, we can learn how to do that. That'll be fun. I don't think we're going to do it right off the back. I have to get some clay and, you know, I want to really set the, set the, stand, set the stage for that. Because I, I want claymation to be special. If I do that. When I do that. I'm not. You know. I got plans to do claymation. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't. But the trick is. I want it to be quick. You know. I want. I want. Um, the animations to be quick. I want it to be. You know. I don't want it to be time consuming. So animation. And I spec that I specialize now. On RVT. Is very. Um, quick. It's not really time consuming. I plan on not having a time consuming. Sweetie, look at this. What is this? Oh, I had it on the thing. There's chicken. See, there's chicken grease got on here. Look at this shit. 
I know it's not interfering with the words, but there's grease on this table, I think, guys. Oh, shit. But it, it didn't fuck up nothing, so it's all right. Gotta watch when you eat your food. I had some fried chicken, and it's the fucking thing. I put the paper on it, and look at that. Once grease get on paper, that's it, dude. That shit ruined. Ain't no way you can fix that. But it's at the bottom of the page. It's not on the writing, so it's pretty kosher. It's pretty good. Did y'all like Picture Portal? Let's get started without further ado. I don't have any news, guys, for you guys. Maybe next time or another time. But anyway, have, did you guys um, see the Picture Portal? That's a new show that I have. It's kind of like... What, sweetie? Like Twilight Zone, kind of? Yeah. It's kind of like Twilight Zone kind of thing. Picture Portal there. And, uh, what it is, is, I came up with that concept because I remember Night Gallery with, um, Rod Sterling. And, you know, Rod Sterling was a master. Rod Sterling was a genius, in my opinion. Rod Sterling started everything. It's always, you know, in the business today, entertainment, you always have the seed that started everything. Like on YouTube, Ray Williams Johnson started all of the serious talking on YouTube right now. If it wasn't for him, I think people would still be acting stupid on YouTube. You know, he started he started all of the serious stuff that's, that's just dominating YouTube right now. And people with real shows, such as myself and all, he started the whole thing. Well, everybody's acting stupid, he came out with that. And everybody said, all right, this is different on YouTube. And now he started the heat wave of a forest flame. And now this is just all over the place. So, in my opinion, he's the seed of... All the maturity on YouTube right now. Hands down. Hands down. When it comes to like Outer Limits. And uh, Tales from the Dark Side. It all started from Ross Sterling with the Twilight Zone. That started. That was the see That started all of those anthology stories. Of fright, some of them psychological, some of them psychological, which in my opinion are the best ones. I like I choose psycho. Yeah, we us around here. Yeah, we we'll choose psychological more than horror any time of the day. Psychological thrillers are are way better than slasher. Slasher is just a waste of. I won't say it's a waste of time, but it's just predictable. You know, you know, you're going to see blood and somebody screaming and. Then it's over, for the most part. But when it gets psychological, see now you're playing. Now it's like a Rubik's cube show. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know and mysteries and stuff like that. Can't beat that kind of entertainment. Can't beat it. Well, I still start out all that. I was always fascinated with that. I had a notion. I had a notion that. What if I can bring animation to that level? Animation to that level. Now, here's the thing about it. I can get some actors and actresses to play out the roles, but not. I'll be honest with you. 80% of the time that people do that, on social media. You're going to get bad acting. You're going to get bad acting. They And the thing is, they could be in school. Yeah, that's the thing, sweetie. They could, they could be in college. Acting college or drama. Or theater. And still come off as bad acting. Bad act. you, you won't get what you're looking for unless you go professional. Now... 
if I do it in animation, I can get exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. I'm not saying that it's prominent that you're going to get a bad actor if you do something like But I know the pain in the ass it is when you're working with people. When you're working with people, it's a pain in the ass. Because these people you're working with have lives. You understand? They have lives, and they may come, and they don't feel like it, or they get in the phone, and they, at first they come to work. Then they're in a good mood. Then they make a phone call. And then the attitude change. Now they want to argue. Some people want to fight. And it's just a pain in the ass dealing with people. And that's why most of the rock bands break up. None of them really last. Bluegrass bands from the 90s. That's why they, you know, dealing, dealing with people sucks. It's a pain in the ass. Everybody wants to hog the spotlight. And why, did I, why don't I have enough lines? Why do we have to do this take again? I think nothing wrong with the take we just did. And it's all this bullshit. But I figured, what about if I cross... See, this is Rashid's method, if I do something new. What about if I cross it over to animation? What about if I cross it over to animation and still get the same effect? off of individuals but with animation what if I can do that now I know right off the back it's going to take practice I know right off the back but in the process I'm still getting what I exactly want I want to get the power and the drive from real actors and put it in animation I'm not saying that it don't exist because you could go to Japanese anime and say, hey, there it is right there and shit. Yeah. It, that's what I'm saying. So it's all, you could go to Japanese um, animation and say, it's an anime. You know? Or oh, we used to have it in this country, and you know, with um, shows like um, um, Battle of the Planets. You know they were they 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 did a pretty good job. Then you got the superhero job where you can't be that in animation, the classic Spider Mans and everything. That's like people acting, but you know. But what what about when it comes to shows? Not necessarily comics or what have. What about shows? So it's something that I created here that I can. Try to get that, that fire and passion from real people while put it in animation. My people complain that, okay, it's hard to enjoy Rashid's content if they up in it. I never heard no shit like that before, but I'm the artist around here. They're not. They're artists because I'm an artist. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, sweetie. So they say, if I'm in it, damn, I'm not, I can't enjoy it because I know I'm in it. And you so fucking good with your shit, I want to enjoy it. And I want to look at myself and I... Okay. I see your point. So I came up with this concept of animation... Uh, drama. Which is a lot of... I have a lot of uh, role models that I look up to. A whole lot of role models that I look up to. Some of them I even reached out to, but they told me to go fuck myself because they just they heads in the clouds. You know how it is when you get when everybody know who you are, you famous and all. You ain't got nobody. You ain't, you ain't got time to turn around and say hi to nobody. You know what I'm saying, God? You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't got you ain't got time to turn. You ain't got time to turn around. You ain't got time to turn around and say hey, how you doing? Thanks, I appreciate what you you know. You head in the clouds and all. You you don't get fucked. So I reached out to some and they said go fuck yourself. So and that's cool. That's cool. That's the way they roll. That's the way they roll. That's the way life is. It ain't like they Christian or anything, you know. 
So, but but uh, with that being said, there's a lot of role models that I have in my sight that I look up to dearly, who did the most the most amazing animation movies that I ever seen, and I was blown away by. It. I mean these these move these movies was like you watching it and you actually forgot it was animation. That's how powerful they was. You know, that's how powerful they was. So I want to do mine in a different way. And the clue I know is, is Rashid's Blue Skull Animation. One of the stories that was on uh, uh, Portrait Portrait Portal. That's the name of the thing, Portrait Portal, because like I said, um, Rod Sterling started all of it. Rod Sterling started all of it. So I figured, you know, hey, I wonder if I... uh, I could get a crack at that. Maybe I could get a crack at that. That kind of like different storytelling thing. In one show. Every time the show airs is a different. And I wanted to do something different. So I'm an artist. And I figured that a portrait. Portal. Of course you know what a portal is. Every time you come to this magical portrait. We branch off in a different show, a different movie. That's what they are, movies. Well, they shows, but they but it could be movies sometimes. It depends. Y'all know y'all saw Thumbprint, and that was a movie. Which is talking about UFOs. Very powerful animation. If you didn't see that, you should locate that on my videos also. You got to check out Thumbprint. You got to check that out. Um, people are still talking about Thumbprint. Um, they commended me about Thumbprint. Asked me, do I believe in UFOs and so forth? Well, I based that at, I based that off a of fire in the sky in Hollywood, but I did it a different way, and uh, I tried to get the main highlights of the movie. In the animation, and we, yeah, I did a pretty good. Yeah, we did a pretty good job with that, sweetie. But if you haven't seen Thumbprint, you got to see Thumbprint. Just go to my videos and look that up right away. That's enjoyable animation. It's not the best type of animation to watch now. It's different, but the storyline is very powerful, and it's showing that in reality, what can really happen. You know, what can really happen? You know, and it's based off a true story. So in a sense, is what really happened, what really took place. Very powerful um, animation uh, movie that I did. So I, I advise you to look at that on RVT. Just go to my videos and check that out. That's really good. So I figured, you know, that I could come up with this portrait portal. Of every time we go there, it's a different story, you know. And Ramsey, and um, Ramsey, yeah, the guy name was Ramsey. That's him in the picture right there. He caught that shit. And what I've been hearing is, I didn't know that was going to happen to him. You know, they, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was, I didn't know that was going to happen to him. I thought he was going like, you know. He was going to get wishes or something like that. But that's the last thing everybody thought that would happen to Ramsey. That was the last thing. You know. That people expected to happen to Ramsey. He was a fucking asshole. He was a prick. You know. And you and the thing is. You meet people today like that. You meet people today like that. So when it happened, you didn't necessarily jump for joy, but you said, you know what, motherfucker like that caught it because he had it coming. You see what I mean? 
And you know people today that if that happened, you will sit back and say, that, that asshole had it coming because he was a prick. He do what he want. He say what he want. And there's people like that today. And to see him catch that ending was just immaculate to see him catch that ending. I mean, his fucking ass got devoured. There was nothing left. You know? Nothing left, dude. Nothing. Yeah, you're right, but fire on the sand. You're right, sweetie, but fire on the sand. Straight headed coming to him. Straight headed coming to him. You know, you look at that and say, fuck him. You know, that's one of them, that's one of them situations you say, fuck him. I mean, because he was just an asshole prick. I mean, it was so bad that if I wanted it to be spiritual, I yeah, I could have pulled him down to hell. Made him go to hell. Which, in a sense, it was kind of like that. But when you talk about the Grim Reaper and shit, and he had his name, I don't want to spoil it for anybody to, who didn't see it. So I'm not, i got to watch the spoilers and all. But when you talk about somebody like the Grim Reaper, you always wonder, he don't take people to hell. <laughs> yeah, he don't take people to hell. That's in biblical, that's Bible stuff. He don't take people to hell. At least I don't think he don't. He don't work for Satan, for Christ's sake. I know, wouldn't it be interesting if he did, sweetie? You're right. Wouldn't it be interesting if the Grim Reaper worked for Satan the devil? That'll be something. That'll be something to write home about. You check this out. The Grim Reaper work for Satan the Devil. <laughs> but Ramsey caught it. Fuck him. And uh, we will be discussing more of his ass on this uh, table talk because um, you see, you, you meet people like you know people or meet people like that on a day to day basis, especially at work. And wouldn't it be cool if they meet an ending like that? You know, they say no matter how tough you are, you're going to meet somebody. It's always somebody tougher than you. I don't give a fuck how bad you think you are. There's always somebody better than you. It's always somebody that's better than you. Who's meaner than you. And they say you're going to meet your match one day. You're going to meet your match. Somebody walking around tough and all, doing what they want to do. And Reaper Grimm asked him, he said, yeah, like the person you shot. He said, Ramsey said, yeah, I did that job when I was like, what, 12 years old or something. He said it like it wasn't shit, like he didn't care. So it's like, okay, this, you know, you're going to meet your match. Lo and behold, he met his match. I ain't going to spoil you for anybody who ain't seen it. But it's in the, um, the first day of the Rashid showcase underneath when you if you're interested on my website. Hopefully you get around and watching that because uh he really met his match on that fucking seat. He caught it. Here on table talk, you know, I don't have no news to tell you guys. I told y'all that I don't have no news to tell you. But what I do have it's this Pez Dispenser right here. Now look right here. This Pez Dispenser here. This is the Pez Dispenser. It's Halloween time. I'm sick. I'm getting sick of Halloween candy already. Now I'm sitting here eating these pumpkin head things along with this candy corn. Excuse me, but there you go. You see, this is the season. This is the season for candy. My daughter ain't candy, so. <laughs> I know. This is the season for candy. And I'm sitting here, and we're eating this Halloween candy. 
And I have absolutely no remorse and no guilt whatsoever. And guess what? It is so freaking good. I can I am a sucker for now I'm gonna say it. Y'all know already. Let me do this on the air. Let me do this on the air. I'm a sucker for pumpkin heads and candy corns. They my weakness. Then on Easter is the coconut eggs. Every year it's the same goddamn thing, and when, and this is the time. Oh gosh, this is the time that it's on sale. So just a reminder, I got that. That's my pants. I got that on my desk right there. Go out, get the pants candy, collect the things, because that's mine. Can't have it. <coughs> Can't have it. Go get yourself some pants. Treat yourself to some pants. Halloween thing. Because this is the time you get candy on sale. So much Halloween candy for sale, too. You can really indulge this time of year. Now, now that that's over with, I want to share something else on table talk here. Here on table talk, I come up with a lot of neat things. Y'all know I, I try to keep us entertained with Rashid content along with some interesting topics that I may come across. So I created something that I consider an interesting topic that I want you guys to look at. For now on, on Table Talk, now sweetie, now we doing this, we, we decided to do this. For now on, I'm going to, how can I say this? How can I say this? How can I say this? For now on, on Table Talk, I am going to cyber record myself with a cyber tape recorder that I created. And this cyber tape recorder is something because we're not going to forget about Rashid's content. If you don't see it on RVT, then chances are you're not going to see it nowhere. No doubt. Unless somebody taking and share it with somebody, which I know you guys are doing that. Don't think I'm fucking stupid. But yet and still, if you guys don't see it here, then you're not going to say it anywhere on a general sense. So I want you to look at this right here. Now look at this right here. I created this. This, my friend, my bees, my Rashi subscriber, my bees, this is ours. I created this. This belongs to us. What this is, is my tape recorder that I'm going to be recording myself. And all the content we talk about. <laughs> and all the content we talk about on Rashid's Table Talk. I'm going to be recording. Because Rashid is so much here. Or RVT. It's just so much here. It's so much that we got to put it somewhere. And I want to put it right here on this tape recorder. I created this whole thing. I told you everything I, I show y'all besides the Pez. The Pez is legit. I got that from the store. It's all Rashid's imagination. Now I created this. This going to record table talk from here. Now, so look for this during the course of the show. And... The beginning of Table Talk. So just look for this. Because I'm going to record. It's my imagination. You know. I want to keep it on file. Everything we talk about. Yada, yada, yada. You know. Got to record myself. Got to record the Rashid content. I got to. It's a must. So, keep your eyes on that, because you'll be seeing that again in a few minutes or the next show. And Ramsey caught it because he was an asshole. In my opinion, all assholes should catch it that way. In my opinion, all pricks should catch it that way. Right up the ass. When they think they're bad, some of us... That's what should happen to them. 
I know. You got burnt with fire down to a crisp and fuck them. Because everybody know an asshole like that. The next thing that we're going to talk about on my she's table talk. Ah. It's day one and the only the pig who likes pork. 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 Did y'all see that? Now, whoever didn't see this, you're missing a good animation. It's on the second day of the Rashi Showcase. Now, didn't we have fun watching that? Now, right off the back, you may think, or yet and still, you may suggest that I got this from Charlotte's Web. That's the first thing that will come to your head. It looks like Charlotte's Web. That looks like something from Charlotte's Web. That looks like a, not a Charlotte's Web ripoff. But it looks like something from Charlotte's Web. It's not from Charlotte's Web. No. It's not the... It, and it's funny. This is why it's funny. This is why a lot of animators, I think, get caught up in shit. I think they want to do farm animation. And the little girl just go right with it for some reason. She just do. Now, you got Winnie the Pooh, which they 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 switched Christopher Robert with a little girl. The new Winnie the Pooh, they switched. Chris, it wasn't no Christopher Robert in it. It was a little girl in there. This is different. This is this is is not like that. With me, the story fits the way it fits. I created the way I created it. I didn't, you know, make no changes and base it on Shaw as well. Personally, I think that's why a lot of it's not that many farm animation. Because you'll automatically say Charlotte's Web. And and of all the animals you want to make the star of the farm, the pig seemed like just an easy skit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He seemed like an easy scapegoat to to make something off of. He's not too funny, he's not too serious, you know? But yeah, that's how I'm about. Oh yeah, I was about to say that. You took the words right out my mouth, sweetie. I'm go with that. It's going to be another animation on Rashi Cyber Two, right? We say, okay, the same movie right here, the pig who likes pork. The same characters, everything is going to be an animated show on Rashi Cyber Two. The only characters that's not going to be there. Is Rashid the pig and his brothers and Tina the little girl. Those characters are going to be removed from the show. And we're going to be left with every every other and every animal on it that y'all seen on the movie. In the movie, the pig will like sport. Look for that soon on Rashid Cyber 2. Again... Now, what you're not going to see is Rashid the Pig, my three brothers, and Tina the Little Girl. All of them are not going to be on the animated show. Everybody else you saw on the show going to be there, basically. Oh, and the cat is not going to be there. Um, what's it? Um, um, Catnip? The cat name is Catnip. Yeah, let me check this. See. Yeah, catnip. Catnip is not going to be. So you got me, my brothers, the cat catnip, Tina, and Tina, the little girl, is not going to be in the show. All the animals are going to be on the show, and there's going to be a show on Rashi Cyber 2. Just so y'all know that. Now, yeah, I think it makes for an interesting concept. I, I really do. I really do. 
Me, the brothers, and Tina, and Catnip will only be on the movie. In the movie. The pig who likes pork. And it's not going to be called the pig who likes pork, of course. In fact, I got it written down what it's going to be called, but it's in my notes, and I really don't feel like going to fishing for them. I'm not, I, I don't feel like going to fishing for it. But it's in, the, it's in my notes of what it's going to be called. Uh, formalities, I think. Formalities, I think is like yeah, I think it's like I think that's what it's called. Formalities, formalities. That's the name of it. And Buckaroo, the horse, is going to be the star of it. Buckaroo, the horse, is going to be star of it. Then you got Rafferty the geese. That's Rafferty, the one that had a stupid looking smile on his face. And all of these things, if you if you don't know what we're talking about, you have to go and view it. It's the second day of the showcase. You have to go and view it. So Rafferty the geese. The hen is Leonard. Leonard is funny. Leonard was funny in that because he always tried to sing and stuff like that. I think he'll still be singing in the um, in the animated. Um, cartoon he'll be a singer trying to sing and of course Rafferty the geese gonna be making fun of him and they argue and shit like that everybody's gonna be there and of course a uh, goat Leroy the goat he's gonna be there Leroy the goat that was there you know so basically everything will be intact but the the um the people, well, well, the animals, the characters, that are, the characters that I told you is not going to be there. Then they won't be there. They won't be there. They will not be there, man. So look for that animation. I the idea for the the pig who likes pork came from silly thinking. Would you believe it? Silly thinking. I was just thinking. I was eating bacon. And I remember thinking I'm such a pig. I mean, I love some pork bacon. I love pork, period. That's my issue. I know Muslims out there say, that's enough. That's enough. But I do. I do. And I mean, I'm such a pig. Then it just hit me because see when you're in the business your mind always growing and thinking. Always. Always. And I was thinking, what if a pig like pork? Like I'm a pig and I like I like pork. I say, hey, that's not bad. Yeah, then I, I related to you, and then we started talking about it, then it spread. And it was like, hey, that's a good uh, concept there. Yeah, and this is before summer, really. coming. It was when spring, the springtime. And there we go, man. And there we go. It took me all summer to make. I, t- I told you I took my time with it. I kept coming on the air saying, guys... Be patient with me. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And lo and behold, we was done. Lo and behold, we was done. It was uh, it was fun. That was fun making that the pig of life. Making any animation is fun. You always get a not a you get a sweet uh, sweet taste in your mouth when you think back and say, "Wow, that was fun to create that." But then there's always you yeah, had a finishing product. The finished product is like you can't really, really view it without thinking the fun you had in creating it. It's really weird. Really weird. But I'm excited about getting started on that animation. Uh, the pickles like like spark, and that's where it came from. That's where it came from because I'm a fan of little girls. It was easy for me to say I want a little girl in there. And, hey, I got a concept. Let the pig live with the little girl. And uh, the brothers uh, are just, you know, upset about that. 
I don't want to, um, you know, spoil it. And that's how that came about. That's how that came about. So if you want to see that, that's on the front, that's on the second day of the Rashid Showcase that's on my website front page. So be sure to check that out. Then we had the mental health documentary. I think that was, that was, um, really exciting to look at the many the mental health documentary because it's so aspects to mental health that you can't really put your finger on doctors and psychiatrists and physics and and therapists have yet scratched the surface of why mental health exists. So I think I tapped on some key notes of that. So if you want to see that, guys, that's on the second day, second day also. Yeah, it's on the second day, guys, the second day of the Rashid Showcase. Also on the on, on my website, the front page. So you want to check out mental health, that's on the second day also. This name for you right there. So whenever you get ready, you'll go there and check it out. And I guess that wraps up the, um, yeah, I guess that wraps up the showcase thing. I guess that wraps up the showcase. Now we're going to draw our attention to something that um, I saved the best for last. Let's get rid of this R-Rabbit here. Now you may say, what is R-Rabbit all about? What is R Rabbit? Wait, before we get to R Rabbit, let's go back to Dragonfly. Not so fast. <laughs> let's go back to Dragonfly. Not so fast. Let's get back to Dragonfly here. The next one is Dragonfly. And of course, y'all know Dragonfly is coming on after y'all view this right here. Dragonfly is coming on in it. And this right here, like I said, is one of the most exciting, pleasurable things I could do on RET is Dragonfly. It's a Rashid comic, and I'm actually bringing it to life in front of everybody. Amazing to look at. This guy from another realm is trapped here because he chose the wrong crystal. If he chose the right crystal, he could have escaped right back where he came from. But because he chose the wrong crystal... He trapped in this century. And he's from like post-mad times. Where dragons exist. Kings and knights exist. And long he stay in this world, this realm, his thinking is slowly adjusting to it. So he's talking normal like everybody, different from when he first arrived in this realm. You piss him off. And he turns to a dragon. What more can I say about this animation, though? What's that, sweetie? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a, that's a, well, 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 the concept of it, the concept of it is interesting enough that you can identify with his situation. But what you can't identify with is how brave he must be. You automatically dismiss it as an animation because when you think about a real person will lose their goddamn mind. That's the part that's hard to digest. A real person will lose their mind. You know? Nicodemus is 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 very, very understanding. From the time Rashid met Nicodemus, Nicodemus has been nothing but understanding right off the bat. Almost like, yes, I'm about to say, almost like a father thing. Almost like a father. How many, I mean, you come across something like that and they talk to you like a dad. It's like, 
What are the odds of that happening? What are the odds? I've seen a lot of movies. That's what I'm saying. I've seen a lot of movies where, yeah, they don't act like Nicodemus, though. Like, they don't act like Nicodemus. Like, have you seen a never in the story? That boy came across a lot of characters, a lot of what have you. Even on the Lord of Rings, in the Lord of Rings, Frodo in the Lord of Rings came through a lot of characters. They didn't come off like Nicodemus. Nicodemus came off like he gave a shit. Yeah, he gave a shit. You know, I'm with you on this. You know, he understands it ain't your fault you picked the wrong crystal. And maybe later on in the episode we could get into that more of why. Because even Rachid said, even I seen it in the thing. I said, why well, had to pick a crystal in the first place? Why crystal? Where did crystals come from? And y'all know that, that's what I see in the last episode. I was like, where did it come from in the first day of place? We, how did it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. How did the dragons get crystals? They dragged us for Christ's sake. How did they get crystals? Then here comes this dungeon master. This is all on the last episode, guys. <clears throat> I'm not talking about anything that y'all going to see when this go off right here. This is from the previous episode. Then in comes this dungeon master out of nowhere and wants to take Rashid to Dungeons and Dragons, the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, that's I gotta now he's thinking how can I get Rashid there? How can I get him there? But first, his his, his brain is so fucked up. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. His brain is so fucked up, he's thinking, he's doing too much at once. He's thinking, how can I get Rashid to, to, to the, the world of Dungeons and Dragons? How did Rashid become trapped in this world to begin with? And I can't believe that this guy is a dragon. Don't forget, the dungeon master got attracted to him, right, because of his, his right, right, because of his sword ability. Because he's able to do his, um, you know, he's good with the sword. That attracted him. Not the dragon. Not him turning into a dragon. So for some reason, this dungeon dragon, this dungeon master, is attracted to his sword ability. They, they attract, dungeon masters attract, this is the second dungeon master. That, uh, that got attracted to weaponry. The first Dungeon Master that got tra attracted to weaponry that I know about came on Saturday morning in the 80s. You know, when when um, Uni, the unicorn animation that came on channel, um, I forgot what channel it came on. Yeah. And, he, and the Dungeon Master gave them their weapons. See, they specialize in that. They, the weapons thing, they, they specialize in that. So it's not a mystery or wonder why that he, that when Rashid got into an altercation inside Leo's pizza, the dungeon master was attracted to his weaponry skills. In this century right here. And that's where he came from. He came from that. But now he finally, yeah, he finding out he changed to a dragon. He like, what the fuck is this shit? Because first he said he got his weapons. He's good with his weapons. I got a place for him. Kind of like the Dungeon Master did in an animation that came on Saturday morning. They got trapped in Dungeon Dragon's world. They, they, they went on an amusement park ride and got trapped in a world. And Dungeon Master came and gave them their weapons. Kind of like that. The Dungeon Master came and said he could use weapons, but he's in the wrong century. I want to put him in Dungeon... Yeah, it's kind of vice versa. <laughs> but instead, he found out that he's a dragon. Okay, I want him to get in... I want him to get trapped... I want to put him in that realm. I forgot what he called it. Do I got it written down right here? Let me see real quick. Let me see real quick. One second here. Yeah. I created the thing, and I can't even fucking remember. Wait a minute. Let me see.
It's time so tough in this old remnant. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Let me see. So what's on? Right, this is. Who's he think on the. No, that's not it. I got it somewhere. No, that's not here. I forgot what he called that place. I forgot. I'm going to have it next time. I have it somewhere. Wait, what's this? It's, oh, that's that's tech verse. I ain't finished that. I'm going to be talking about that soon also. Yeah, tech verse. That's like the Astro Boy thing. I can't, I can't find it. I'll have it next time. I'll have it next time. I have, I have everything in order. It's just I didn't put it in my notes. It's probably on the computer somewhere. <clears throat> but I, it's a name for it. It's a name for it. Yeah, it's a name for it. I know, I know I can't think of it either. I can't think of it either. I think, wait a minute, guys. Hold on. SB Tim FM is B business right before I done this is from Indian King Terry Applebee's. I have another book. National oh, this one I think. Hold on. Let me see some. Wait a second. I got I got a book also. I got a um I got so much dragonfly information. I I got a book here with Rashi content information on the book. Hold on one minute here. Let me see if it's in this book. I made all of these books. Oh, this this dating back. This is this is old documentary stuff here. Let me see, Mr. Help. Uh, okay, it's not in here. Do I have another book here? Let me see. Hold on for a minute. What's this? Okay, this spirituality book. Then so where did I put that? This is the colony book. I can't. Well, this is this is not in here. I gotta find it, but it's a name. It's a name for that. Somethingville, something like that. I gotta find. I got. Hold on, guys. Let me put this book back. Okay, I, I I made all of these books and I got them wrapped tight in plastic because I don't want them to be in the air too because you know they curdle, paper curdles. So I made these books and okay, um, it's something Ville, something Ville. I gotta find. I know I got it written down here somewhere. Now this is my folder right here. I just I'm taking too much time up trying to find this shit. See, this is Dragonfly Draft Street. There, um, reason for such a what is the see if it was a general super. No, it's not here. All right, I'll get I'll get it next time. I'll get it next time, guys. I forgot the name. I'm going to get it next time. I swear, you guys, when we talk about this, the dragonfly is always a topic here on Table Talk. And I just can't find the son of a bitch. I can't find the son of a bitch. That's what the DC show. Uh, Medusa's Child. Medusa's Child. We got to get started on that. I don't want that shit going to waste. I can't find it nowhere. Um, wait a minute, what's this? No, no, that's, that's, um, what's the name? That's not it. What's this in here? Okay, I know, I know, I'm getting back to the show now. I just thought maybe I could 
dig it up somewhere. Okay, then it's probably I probably got it somewhere else. I'll find it. I'll find it. But anyway, it's a name for it. He said he wants to take Rashid there. It's not Dungeons and Dragons. It's not Dungeons and Dragons. It's a name for it. It's a name for it. He said I want to take Rashid there and so forth like that. Um. He said, "How are you gonna do it?" The dungeon master asked, "Like, how I'm gonna do it? How I'm gonna get his big ass over there? He's dragging." Dungeon masters usually get what they want. He's not a real serious dungeon master. He's in this episode y'all about to see, and you'll see he's a little bit quirkish. Not real quirkish, but quirkish enough. Not really quirkish, but he's kind of like even mommy of Zodak. On Space Giants. Remember Zodak? That guy who... Except he don't slap his fucking... At least I don't think he do anyway. I don't think I got the urge to make him create him to do that. But who knows later on. Who knows? Hmm. So... He got tricked. He tricked Rashid. He tricked... I went down there with Didi... Because I, f- I build this layer in Didi's house. I build this layer, and I saw on the screen this weird something falling from the sky where I burnt a couple of thugs at. We went to that area, and we located it on the screen and saw this like snowflakes falling from the sky. Crystals. So I said, let's go there and check that out, see what that is. When I went there, the dungeon master put that there in the lower media. Once I came there, they trapped us in a truck. In other words, they said, we don't want you, D.D. We don't want you. We want Rashid. Dungeon Master, we want him. So then I turned to a dragon. I started ripping stuff apart, ripping stuff apart. So it became, I think that was on part 10. All this was on part 10. Ripping stuff apart. She said, fly away. Now, the police chiefs are on the, on the situation. People saying, it's this dragon, this monster here. And even Joker saying it's Godzilla and Leo's pizza. Yeah. They're joking and Leo. They're joking and Leo's pizza saying it's Godzilla. Really, is is um. Let me see. What's this guy name? Wait a minute, wait a minute here. Wait a second here. What's this guy? Josh. Yeah, that's the guy. I'm like, hey, Rashi, man. Da 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 da, man. He's calling him Godzilla. Godzilla's here, man. Acting on like that and shit. So the police is on to that, trying to find out what's this monster shit that everybody talking about. Now, Rashid and Didi know that shouldn't have happened. Right away, Rashid goes to Nicodemus. I'm going to find out why we got trapped like that. What what was this all? What was this shit? He didn't show up for work. He showed up for work later. Now, Didi and Rashid work together in Leo's Pizza. Didi, like, if Rashid don't come here, I'm going to go to Nicodemus. If he ain't, I know where he ain't. I'm here at Nicodemus getting information, which I was. Which I was. Finding out what the fuck, how can we be trapped by this? How can I avoid his bullshit? Because now, not only I got to get used to being in his realm. Right, that's that's what I'm saying. Now I got I get used to being in his realm. I got to get used to the fact that I got a dungeon master chasing me doing stupid shit. Because, see, don't forget, Rashid don't know right now that the dungeon master wants to take him to another damn ring. He don't know that. I think it's something that happened in that truck, though. Rashid said, I'm not going nowhere with you. He said, I've got somewhere to go. I ain't going nowhere to fuck with you. He heard Didi crying outside. All right, Rashid upset. He turns to a dragon. You know. Bang, bang, bang. He up in the air kicking ass. Did they say fly away? Like she 
she talked about she like he got hair. Every time she say fly away, he flies away. Like she controlled him or something. Well, I guess it's a woman thing. I don't fucking know. I don't know, man. It's a woman thing, I guess. Always got control of motherfucker. Always, you know, dragging on their hair. Fly away, fly away, Rachi, fly away. And Rachi's flying like he like looking fucking hair. Crazy shit, yeah. Needless to say, while she had the Nicodemus and asked him, "What the? F how can I avoid the dungeon master's tactics? How can I avoid it? How can I avoid it?" Nicodemus told Rashi, "You just gotta pay attention to something like that." He's saying, "I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember." So why she got smart? So why she like, okay, is this something like, wait, a crystal trapped me here. Surely, if a crystal that powerful that I picked the wrong one and it trapped me here, surely it must be a crystal to help me see things in reality. Now, of course, the crystal ain't going to know about a dungeon, man, so all this shit, but will help me see where I'm trapped at more real than the way I see it. Nicodemus said, it is a crystal like that. Okay, good. I got to have that crystal. Now, I need a crown. Now, a crown is something like you got a diamond ring. If you take the diamond off the ring, then you left with, on your finger, it's just a crown. It's just something like that. They call it a crown because it's like a king's crown and a diamond fit inside of it. So you call it a crown. So I she said, I got to go make a crown for this diamond you're going to give me. And that will help me. Yeah, exactly, Swim. Exactly. It will help me. That's going to help me. That's going to help me see the Dungeon Master's bullshit. So I got to go make a crown. So he goes home, go into his, um, go into his medieval forge, his blacksmith forge. He built a forge, which he said he going to do. And he's work, he banging, working on his crown. He banging his ass off, working on his crown. He finished the crown. Now they got to go get the diamond for the crown. And I guess that's where it ended at. So what y'all about to see is the next part to that. That's after this. But he needs that crown. He's like, before I do anything. It's like, before you go back to work. And Leo's pizza, he got to he got to get this diamond because see the dungeon master was already at Leo's pizza, and Leo is a dickhead. Y'all know he's a dickhead. Okay, I need this diamond to let me know when the dungeon master started shit, so I can see it beforehand. That way I can leave. Yeah, he can. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Leave work. Yeah, he can leave work. I don't want to be at work while the Dungeon Master come, for Christ's sake. Leo's a dickhead. If Leo was mature, I can understand it. You got a lot of dickheads working there. Basically, it's Leo and Josh. Yeah, basically, it's Leo and Josh. They're the only real dickheads there. Josh just elaborates shit too much. I'm like, the guy with the sword, where's your sword, man? Acting on, you know. You gotta love a guy, though. I mean, I'm just saying, you just gotta love a guy like that. You know, he could be your friend, best friend. He's friends with his, he's real close with his dad. You know that, he's real close to his dad, come pick him up. From work. He's real close with his dad. And that's good to see a father and son close like that. It is. 
Nice to see father and son close like that. Dad come pick him up from work. He's like, Dad, that's the guy with the sword. You know, you never see nobody with a sword, you know. All right, and that's it. That's it for um, Dragonfly. Expect to see that in a few minutes, guys, when this is over. Now let's talk about this R Rabbit. This thing pissed me off with R Rabbit here. I'm going to tell you why it pissed me off. Because I know I'm going to have to work on this. <laughs> but it's going to be well, well, well worth, worth the work I put into this. I know a lot of you guys, my Rashid Katia's out there listening to me. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this shit. Who not waiting for this shit? Who's a Rashid fan? Who's not wait, waiting for this? Seeing all these goddamn pictures, dude. That right there is a frog. And of course, that's be the rabbit. Or a rabbit. Rashid rabbit. Martial arts things. <coughs> or... Rashi Arts. Rashi Arts. I'm excited about this. Every time I do my picture up, y'all know for a fact that I have a new R Ram. And I have a new one too, I just ain't show you guys yet. Kind of like the colony as a new Amish woman. When I when we do the colony, you know, Rashi, y'all go to my spiritual page on my website. It's a new Amish woman. So I have a new R Rabbit. I just ain't put it up yet. Yeah, I didn't put it up yet. I don't have a storyline. I don't have no names. I don't have anything for this right now. I don't have anything for this right now. I'm just drawing the pictures of getting ideas on how I want it to be. Expect to see it on Rashi Cyber 2. I, I really can't. That's what I think. I want to talk about it, but I can't because I didn't create anything for it but these pictures. That's the only thing I, I create. So I eat nothing in my head about it. And I can't, I can't really talk about it because I'm still working. I'm chewing it like gum, like cud, like a cow chews or a goat chews cud. I'm just chewing, chewing, chewing. Yeah, I know I'm be ready for it. It's just you know, just chewing, chewing, chewing. At least my teeth been clean. <laughs> Damn it. Real excited about our rabbit, dude. Very excited about it. I mean, we're talking an action. Yeah. Creating just what we want to see. Kicking ass. And saving the best for last, guys. Saving the best for last. Now, guys, I got, I got, I kind of warn you. I, I did heavy metal. I told you I'm a heavy metal uh, fan. They don't even do heavy metal animation no more. And if they did, I wouldn't watch it nowadays because I know what'll be up in it. And you can forget that shit. And that's green wood. Green wood, 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 green wood. And I got a and there's a reason why I call it green wood, and you won't believe it. I'm not gonna tell you now. I'm not gonna tell you now. 
the reason why I call it Greenwood. Creating Greenwood. Now this is the board for Greenwood. And you see you got my voice activated, dictated here that I take out with me when I gotta go out. I carry that thing with me everywhere. Get IDs in my head. My head is always thinking things. I have heavy, heavy ideas about this. The ideas about this are so heavy that it's up there with our rabbit. I mean, they're extremely, extremely heavy. Because it's mad, it's uh, not mad evil. It's a, uh, it's a fantasy future. I can't even say futuristic. I don't even know what to call it. Because I don't think it's. I've never seen an animation like this. Never. Never. Maybe you guys have. I know, but us around, we haven't. We haven't never. We have never. Think for a second, sweetie. Have we ever seen an animation like this? No. Never. I mean, nothing's coming up. Even when we saw Thumbelina, that wasn't it. Tinkerbell, we didn't even watch that shit. No, we can't do Tinkerbell. That's too... Hey, that's too infantile for me, but... That, um... That um, Thumbelina, you would think there would, there would be something like this. It wasn't. It wasn't. Fairies, Cyclops. I'm going to create all of this. This is Rashi's world to the max, dude. This is going to be Rashid's world to the fucking max. Ass. It ain't for kids. It's not for kids, dude. I'm going to tell you now. Parental guidance. No, it's going to be rated R. I don't think kill kids. Now, the thing is, because around here, we got enough of family stuff. You sit down with your family, and you watch Rashid content, and yada, yada, this and this and that. We adults want something of Rashid content. You know what I'm saying? And this is it. This is it. Now I know it's animation. Okay? I know it's animation. I know it's not flesh, blood, bone, and that kind of shit. But dude, it's about what my type of people want to see. Okay? I'm, I'm because I'm I'm dubious. I am I'm very dubious. I'm high in nature. That's just Rashid's makeup. That's just my makeup guys. I'm high in nature. I'm just I wanna just I'm just fucked up, but I am. I am. And this, I'm going to dump it all right here in this animation. Now, y'all know the sanatorium women that I have brought on the show before is is adapted off of that. Y'all know they got their own show on, on um, RVT. They got their own show. I think it's on Table Talk that we talk about the sanatorium where I tell stories that they, 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 they hatch from eggs. All of the women have horns in their head. This in here, basically, basically, the main character you see him with horns on their head. It's not Satan. It's not the devil. No, you know why? Because I created it, and I'm not going through this shit again. If I created something and say it's not something, then it's not something. Okay? Don't tell me it's Satan. I know what I created. I created it, so I'm telling you, it's not Satan. That's it. It ain't a, those, it's not a discussion about it. Sanatorium women. 
They need my sperm to populate. It's just what the doctor ordered, dude. It's just what the doctor ordered, dude. All this family friendly shit around here, you know? I even created for this Greenwood. Wait till you find out why I call it Greenwood. That should be an interesting uh, topic, why I call it Greenwood. I even created this tree that all the women in this world go to for advice. Because this woman is the highest form of being. I'm not going to say I got it from like the Garden of Eden, the Tree of Knowledge. I'm not going to say I got it like that. But it's one of, it's, I, mean, I wanted to create a spiritual tree. I know that sounds crazy and all, but I wanted to, to create a spiritual tree. Now, how do I create a spiritual fucking tree? I came up with this one. I came up with this one and named it after myself. This right here, this right here is a tree that they, that they go to for advice. And a woman hovers over this tree. The tree is not small, even though it looks small right here. It's called the Rashua tree. So it's my name. They go to this tree for advice. And it's this woman that appears. That's why you see a pair of eyes. Just a pair of eyes. Because it's just a pair of eyes near this tree. Real eyes. And they talk to these women. In Greenwood. Greenwood is the whole forest. But the forest covers the whole planet Earth. So it's Greenwood Forest. And this tree right here is very spiritual. I wanted to create a spiritual tree. Kind of like the tree has been cursed. It could I could have got the idea from... Well, that's the thing, sweetie, because we talked about this. I want to make this animation really deep. Really deep. Really deep. I don't know if I created this tree because it's like the tree of knowledge of good and bad withering away. Or is it the tree that Jesus cursed? Remember Jesus couldn't get no figs? Off of the tree because the tree was bad. And Jesus turned around and cursed the tree. And then the next day his apostles said, uh, Rabbi, the tree you cursed, look at it. Where the... Maybe the idea came from it. I don't know. I don't know. But I wanted to create a tree that's not withered, but artistically spiritual in some way. That these women come here for advice. Is not Satan, the devil, and it's not the demons. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm saying right now because a lot of Christians look at me. Don't say that. That bothers me. I know what I created. It's not no demon, Satan stuff. None of my stuff I do is that. That stuff is religion and the Bible and religion. This don't don't say that. Don't say that. So this is the Rashi tree. And a Rashua tree is going to be the main tree of the forest. I won't say it's in the center of the garden. I'm not going to go that far and say that. But it's the main tree that they go to when they want to speak to somebody with wisdom. And this woman appears there. She appears. She's a strange woman that appears there dude, and talk to these women. And these women got horns from their head. And they go on these scourges and mishaps and adventures in Greenwood Forest. So it's kind of like womanhood without no restraint. They ain't got to worry about burning their bras or nothing because they can walk around any way they want. 
they could live like men. They killed all the men. All the men died. That's how the move. That's how Greenwood start. All the men died on the planet Earth. All the men died. Ain't no men on the planet Earth. None. Fuck them. Fuck them. Something, a plague hit the planet Earth. Okay? The pla a plague hit the planet Earth. And the men was too weak to survive. They was too weak. To fucking survive because men, oh hi mommy, I want my mommy. Huh? Women is mommy, so she don't say that, so she's stronger. But all the men was like, oh, I want my mommy, I want to talk to my mommy, I want to see my mom, and so all the men died because he was too weak. So the women took over the the whole planet Earth. And they start growing horns from the head as a result of them eating animals like hot dogs, chicken, and stuff like that. So maybe that's the reason they start growing horns on the head. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Someone grew wings. Witches start sprouting out. Women start being completely who they are. And ain't got to worry about no men whatsoever. I'm just a floating entity. And they use me to populate this stuff. But I'm not in the animation. I'm not. You may see some aspects of Rashi of myself in there, but I'm not in there. I'm not there. And these women are straight tough. They some tough ass bitches too. And the name of the place is Greenwood. That's the name of the, the whole planet Earth Greenwood. And these women straight rule the fuck out of it. And that's the foundation for it. You know? Different from Isabel's diary. Different from that. Isabel's diary, she's a princess. And she don't even know she's a princess. She's hearing rumors and stuff, but she don't believe it. That's Isabel's diary. She don't fucking believe it. I'm not getting pissed off. I'm not. I'm not. But she don't fucking believe it. The brown skinned woman there, that's Zavalia. And Zavalia schools her and helps her out for any problem she may be going through. And her best friend is Angelina, and, th and that's right across from her. Then it's Takaya, that's a little fairy up there in the corner under the name Isabel's Diary. So they are teen. And there's a couple of other ones. Yeah, there's a couple of other ones. But they all a group. What they call that clique or some shit? The fuck they are, dude. They're clique. And they're a trip. They are. Like, it's a Greek mythology story. But this ain't about Isabel's diary. Isabel's diary is playing on RVT. Y'all know that. It'll be up soon. It'll be up soon. Isabel is a princess. And that's the that's Isabel right there, the left hand side right there. Next to the book. With the red hair there. She's my daughter. She's my goddamn fucking daughter, dude. And she don't even know that she's a princess. And she'll know a lot of shit, too. But she getting educated by Zavalia. Now, Zavalia is her in the corner up there. 
But she's a woman. She's a teacher. So it's different from this. Isabel coming to her who she really is. She's a princess. And she got to live with this shit. I can't wait to get into that. I'm just saying, sweetie, I can't wait to get back in it. But getting back to this right here, this right here. Getting back to this right here. All of this right here. This is Greenwood. This is the Rashua tree. And I'm excited about bringing this to light. I am. Because this could be no holes bars and fuck all the men on the planet Earth. Because they were too stupid to survive. So women took over. And unfortunately they grew horns on top of their head. And fuck that too. And they don't even care. Bitches don't even care. Dude. As far as they're concerned, they look better. They ain't got to worry about this, that. And they run the earth the right way. The real way. The way womanhood. This is womanhood to the max. They got horns on their head. That's straight fucking womanhood leadership. And this is and this shit is is like heavy metal. This is some deep shit right here. That I'm going to get into. This is deep shit. When they fight, it's for a reason. Not because of, oh, you made me mad. And shit like that. The women today act like animals. These women here don't act like no fucking animals. And you can see the eyes on the bottom of that. See the eyes? That's the eyes to be in front of the Rashua tree. That's not the same eyes, of course. Wait till you see the eyes. Wait till you see the eyes. They not the eyes, but they're symbolizing who she is. She's the, she's all powerful, and she hangs around that Rashua tree, that strange tree that the women go to for advice and stuff like that. I'm really excited when it comes to stuff like this. Because it's not for kids. Please, it's not for kids. Please. All the ass is going to be showing on this dude. And all the situations, the, the gross situations up on this motherfucker, dude. Don't, please. It's not for kids. It's like heavy metal now. It's for adults. Something we can have around here besides all of us kids can watch this shit and kids can watch that shit. Not this one. This is for adults here. So you give me kids, you want what do you want them to watch it now? Don't say I ain't warn you. So I'll put my best animation in this ass, this ass here. I don't play with my ass. And this is the real women and fuck all the men because the men stupid and the men got killed the fuck off like roaches. Because they was too weak. Oh, I want my mommy. Mom, I want to call my grandma. And they died. And all the women kept surviving. And that's just the way the fuck it happened. And they named it Greenwood. That was the name of the forest. And it stressed over the planet Earth. And I'm glad you fucking think it's funny. But I don't think it's funny. Anyway, I don't think shit funny. But anyway... Thank you guys for um, another um, exciting episode of discussing. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. And shit. This, um, table talk. Thank you guys for tuning in for an episode, uh, another episode. Join us next time. Damn it. Get me pissed off on this damn thing. Oh, punk ass motherfuckers didn't fuck them. And, th and thank you guys for tuning in. And come back again for next discussionable episode of Rashid's RBT content of what's here, what's to come, and also the maybes and possibilities of shows that that's lingering. That we don't know what we're going to do right now with. 
So that's what this show is for. Wrapping up Rashid content and digging in. And we're going to dig into some more Rashid content on the next Table Talk. Until then, have a nice evening. Take care. This has been an RVT Rashid's Video to Social Media Television Production. Can somebody give these girls some socks? Good girl. This program was brought to you by Rashid's Cyber Rock Films in conjunction with YouTube and Google Plus and Social Media Plug Out. It's all about change, real change. Peace. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. You're watching RVT Rashid's video too. Oh, what an atmosphere. Look on your social devices. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's my she's mansion's mouse. And I want to help you guys get a good night's rest. Take a look. Urgh, my back. Oh, oh. Why should you guys suffer with stiff back, achy joints, and so on from a worn out mattress? There are hundreds of affordable mattress dealers in your area, and all is needed is you. Reliable mattresses that fit your comfort level, spring design style, chic and firm. Thank you, Rashi Mattress Mouse. Anytime, an RET ad is worth two in a home. And speaking of ads, don't forget about this one. And size your bedding up for comfort. A new mattress and a good night's rest awaits you. Just go to www.mattress.com. That's www.mattress.com. Anyway!
Isabella Rashid startling adventurous computer novel created and written by Rashid. A Rashid Greek mythology story narrated by Rashid himself. Now streaming on RVT Rashid's video tube. Come follow along today. Oh, I feel so terrible. What's the matter, guy? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Oh, come on. It can't be all that bad. Okay, if I must, Rashid, I'll tell it to you. I have no sweets this year. You have no sweets? Well, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. I want something sugary. I want something delicious. Here, Sai, dear. Try some chocolate bites. Chocolate bites? Yup, chocolate bites. Tiny chocolate bits wrapped up. After dinner or evening leisure. They're great. Hmm, chocolate bites. Hey, guy. Yeah? Are you feeling any better? Long as I got my chocolate bites. I know, I know. So, guys, when you're out, pick some up. It's great. All day long the bunnies worked, they got so very tired. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rashid's chocolate cider. All day long the days were rough, it was no happy choir. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rashid's chocolate cider. Well, not cider, but just hot chocolate. Deep, rich hot chocolate. Either plain or with marshmallows. An internet's best friend. And with 3 grams of fat and 6 grams of protein, why wouldn't you go for it? All year round is groovy! You said it, Culper. The marshmallows melt to a thick motherly malt as it oozes down your throat. You probably wouldn't stand for just one cup. And your imagination? Mm, just might get the best of you, if you know what I mean. All day long the bunnies worked, they got so very tired. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rashid's chocolate cider. All day long the days were rough, it was no happy choir. So when they got home, they needed a boost. Rashid's chocolate cider. So let your imagination run wild all, all year round. Available at your nearest grocers or go online. was cooking hot dog just in hot dog delicious wiener on a bun delicious then delicious now a hot dog is high in potassium and rich in vitamin B 13% and it tastes great did you know a hot dog is a sausage? In definition, a hot dog is a fully cooked sausage grilled and served in a bun as a sandwich. Plump and juicy, how can you resist? Not that expensive and promising. Think back to childhood with hot dogs and baked babies and how the smell got you aroused with mouth water. An American ball game eatery tradition. It's no wonder why the all-American hot dog is still one of the number one best pastime snacks. Where the pork, beef, or chicken is guaranteed to satisfy. So go out and have a wiener. Look for money-saving coupons and papers and news ads. Mommy, 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 mommy's taking me to the store. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, go downstairs, gotta get dressed, gotta get dressed, go downstairs. Oh, I gotta get dressed, I gotta get dressed. Oh, it's such a beautiful day out here, mommy. It's such a beautiful day. Oh, my goodness, mommy, look at all the things, look at all the things. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, most of the things you get at the store, you get really good deals if you got coupons. Oh, mommy, thanks.
You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. From Social Media Broadcasting System, this is RVT, Machine's Video Tube. You're watching RVT, Rashid's video too. Home of Rashid's universe. Hey, Cindy, what's this uh, snake here doing in our picnic? What is more, what is doing uh, announcing the Rashid universe thing there? Hey, did you hear me? What you doing here? You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Gosh, you're watching RVT, Rashi's video tool, serving nations of the uh, serving nations of uh, worldwide. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Oh, sixteen in the mistress, you're a whole around. Rashid Blue Skull Pirate Animation. And now, RVT presents another Dragonfly episode. Episode 11, A Slight Change. As we all know, Rashi had a slight dilemma. Being tricked by the Dungeon Master to lure him to a certain area. Rashi refuses to be tricked again. Being tricked by the Dungeon Master to lure him to a certain area. Thus, Rashid refuses to be tricked again. Getting advice from Nicodemus, Rashid was warned about the crafty acts of the Dungeon Master. Rashid thus inquires a way to soberly see these crafty acts. Not coming up with no mere answer, Rashid requires the informational option of a certain reality stone or diamond. Reasoning, if the choosing of a wrong diamond thrusts him permanently in this portal, surely there must be a diamond to distinguish between reality and fiction. Thus, Nicodemus informs Rashid there is such a diamond. When knowing this, Rashid suggests upon making a crown for it, to keep it on him at all times. With the agreeance of Nicodemus, Rashi hurries off to build this crown. He can now thus see the Dungeon Master's tactics, head on. But thus, the question remains, will it work? Let's look on. 
It looks magnificent. I sure will work hard enough to make it. It sure as heck better look like something. Well, it does. And just to think, all that hammering away just to put together such a tiny thing like that. But well worth it. And it's called the crown. Yeah, it's called the crown. Now, all that remain is the question, will it fit the stone? It will. Come on, Dean. Let's hurry back to Nicodemus. Right. Such a beautiful night tonight. So quiet. So peaceful. So D, I I really wouldn't know. No? You don't know this? How could I? Always on the alert for the dungeon master. Well, she, well, look at it this way. He failed. I mean, the battle that was fought, he lost. I don't think we have to worry about him for a while. You, you know, I hope you're right. And this stone, this stone will change everything. I mean, now I don't have to be so alert all the time. How will it work? I have no idea. But I'm sure Nicodemus will have answers. I mean, when I really think about it, I have more questions than the ones I have already. What kind of questions? Well, questions like, what with all the stones in the first place? And, and, and one in particular, that death stone or diamond. Why the death stone? Because that death stone is the reason that I'm banned here. I chose the wrong stone. The death one? D and on top of that, how did the dragons become guidance of them? And where did they come from? What else can they do? Okay, Rashi, you're right. You're right, you do have a lot of questions. But right now, I think we better stick to one question at a time. Right, right, one question at a time. After all, why be selfish with the questions? What do you mean? Well. I do have questions as well. I have questions. You? Yeah. And why not? After all, it's, it's not every day that I meet a guy from another realm and on top of that, that can transform into a dragon, for God's sake. I guess I was being overly selfish with the questions. I should have known. Well, please forgive me, my lady. Please forgive me. Rashid, call me D and relax. You're not going anywhere anytime soon. I have time for my questions. He is so understanding. I have to be. I mean, a dragon? Point made, D. Point made. I just had to rub it in again. I'm sure. Okay. We're here. Now, I really don't know how long we're going to be here, so be aware of that. Right. And whatever you see, or whatever, however you feel, Nicodemus is a friend. Right. If things get a little bit too much, just excuse yourself. Don't worry about me. I'm pretty tough. Well, you, you're telling me? I mean, I, I think I know that. I, I well know that, Molly. But I'll stay close anyway. Right. Rashi, the blacksmith's helper. I see you return. But not alone. Of course, you. You remember Dede? Of course! How could we forget such a part? Oh, you're too kind. Well, now I see. Do you have the crown? Indeed, Nicodemus. Behold. Behold. It's marvelous. How dare you? A little building along with old experience training. Of, of course. course. I'm impressed. But don't be impressed too much, Nicodemus. Will the diamond fit? That's the question. Even if not, it can be made of it. Don't be concerned about that at this time. It's loyalty to the dying that counts. Loyalty? My thoughts exactly, D. What do you mean, loyalty? Rashi, it's your responsibility to always, always keep this dying at hand at all times. It's vital. Thus, upon seeing that crown, it doesn't look like an impossible task. This diamond is not from your realm, and you're required to keep it. Thus, loyalty is needed, as well as trust in the responsibility of keeping and protecting the soul, as it should serve you well. Understood, Nicodemus, understood. 
So how do we get started? Come, Come this way. way. Wait, what? Down there? Nicodemus, uh, how? Why, well, she, your bravery carried you thus far. I seriously don't if it will fail you now. But Nicodemus, Rashid, right, trust me now. Come, I'll be here. Right, T. Nicodemus? Wow. What is this place? How do we know he's capable of handling the stone of Saturn? The stone of Saturn? So that's the name of the stone. Be not alarmed, my brothers. I do take full responsibility in this action on all accords. Nicodemus, it's not you we doubt. Then how can it be this one? After all, his fate was that he became one of us. And surely, one of us will not betray. But he's half. Half is more, because his justification lies in the fact that we're the closest to his original world than anything. Truth worthiness is a surety. Very well, Nicodemus. Let the stone be granted. Very well. Rashi, hold out the crown. Huh? Return, you goons! Strip this city raw, and when you locate him, get back to me quickly, because something's not right. I feel an awkward interference in my oral remina, a very awkward interference. So, how do you feel? What was it like, Didi? It was incredible. They're so in order and in line with everything. I kinda knew everything was gonna work out all right. Nicodemus is a fair me. I just didn't know what to expect. But my expectations paid off richly. This is a fine stone. Rashi, how does it work? Well, that's the point, D. I really have no idea. We just have to wait till our ministers show up. But what if it doesn't work? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, we have to just Wait and see. <laughs> I'm sure Nicodemus wouldn't issue a diamond that would be hard to figure out. True. Well, you hungry? Sure am. Good. Come on.
Can somebody give these girls some socks? Good girl. This program was brought to you by Rashid's Cyber Rock Films in conjunction with YouTube and Google Plus and social media plug out. It's all about change, real change. Peace. Isabella, Rashid's startling adventurous computer novel created and written by Rashid, a Rashid Greek mythology story narrated by Rashid himself, now streaming on RVT Rashid's video tube. Come follow along today. From Social Media Broadcasting System, this is RVT, my She's Video Tube. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube serving nations worldwide. Up next on RVT, Rashid's video too, it's the Rashid and Jan show. Following that is Rashid Cyber 2. Having a keen eye for Rashid Entertainment isn't hard to do, especially when you're here on RBT with Rashid all the time. 